What's up guys, it's me, Packy at the house, and today I'm doing something super exciting. I'm up here in Muskegon, Michigan, and I get to make my own bowling ball today. As you can see, we have two different cover stocks, the yellow and the orange. I want you guys down below in the comments during this video to let me know if you like the yellow one or the orange one better as I will walk you through my process, what I see and what I like. I want you guys to comment down below and do the same. As for a giveaway, we're giving away one of these bowling balls. It is the brand new Deviate Troublemaker. I tested this ball months ago and now I'm able to release. Make sure you are a subscriber of the channel because if you're a subscriber of the channel, that's the only way to win. And then go ahead, click that link in the description, type in your email, and that way we can reach out to you by email. It is the only way that we will reach out to you is by email and letting you know if you have been selected as the winner of the free bowling ball, this Deviate Troublemaker. And now let's get back into the action and back into testing this bowling ball. So we just got done with the presentation down there at Brunswick and uh, basically they just talked about how the new layout system is going to help all two-handers drill their fingers in the same kind of area of the core. So the numbers of the core aren't that much different to myself, to another bowler who all have very, very different PAPs. All of those numbers getting taken out of the core are gonna be in a similar area. So my ball compared to Matt Ogle's ball, compared to Matt Russo's ball, different PAPs. The layout system is gonna convert it so the fingers are all in the same spot of the core changing the numbers the same or not changing the numbers the same. But here we are, and I finally get to throw these balls, and once again, I am just so appreciative of this opportunity, and I'm really excited to see what these balls do. I brought a Track Stealth, that's the comparison ball, and then I got the two different cover stocks and two different layouts, so four balls. So the difference between the two balls, the orange pin I've been told is a certain cover stock and the yellow pin is a different cover stock. So I'm trying to throw the two that are the same layout to tell what the cover stock's gonna do for me, what it's gonna do as I move across the lane right and left, whether I throw it harder or whether I have to open up the lane and slow hook it. I'm trying to see if the cover stock's better at, you know, when I move in, if it's gonna still shape down lane or if it's a ball that I need to play a little straighter with and, you know, keep it online with some ball speed. I'm gonna throw a stronger one. That was the orange one. Doesn't want to keep coming back. All right, so I'm gonna throw like three shots with the yellow cover stock here, and then I'm gonna throw three shots with the orange cover stock. For me right now, the yellow stock, the yellow pin cover stock feels a little cleaner and a little sharper down lane. We'll see what you guys think. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think and which cover stock you would pick for your game. Not a great shot. Here we go, three shots with the orange pen. Like, 
see it just hook early. Yeah, when I get that one left, it just doesn't want to strike. I'm gonna throw one shot with the yellow one from that same move. Just gets way further down lane. So in the initial like 20 shots that I threw, I didn't see much of a difference. However, when I go went there and stood on top of each other, I could clearly see that the orange one hooked a good five feet sooner. And currently right now I'm liking the yellow one a little bit better just because it's a cleaner, more down lane type of motion. It's still very smooth. It's just, it's a little cleaner and it keeps my ball online and I don't throw it a million miles an hour. So that's what I, uh, that's what I see right now. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the stronger layout that we have where I'm going to throw it from, you know, about 20th arrows and I'm going to see which of the two looks better from there. So I'm gonna go two shots each on those. So the stronger layout obviously is hooking more, but it's like when I throw that stronger layout, I want to almost choose the yellow one gets down lane, it still picks up in the right spot and it definitely makes a harder corner down lane. Once again, not hard, just a little more continuous on the back end of the lane than the orange ball, which goes, I feel like hooks and goes a little bit more forward through the pins. So for me right now, once again, even with the stronger layout, I like the yellow one. And now I'm gonna test the two layouts against each other just to see what the differences are. Crossing like 20. Yeah, it's cross. Oh. It's still just even the like stronger one is still like sharper, yeah. I feel like there's a spot on the lane that's not very friendly. It's, that was weak layout. Both this was that was weak layout orange. The previous shot was the weak layout yellow. All right, so we just bowled on the house shot over there and I formulated an opinion. You know, as the house shot gets really burnt up, it's hard for me anyway, but the orange one blended it out a little bit after, you know, what would be games like four, five, and six. The yellow one, really snappy and really responsive to the friction, which is when early in the block, you know, games one, two, and three, the yellow one would have been perfect on the house shot where it would have snapped when I missed left, kind of held there and still finished and not seven pin when I missed right. Um, so now we're gonna test them out on the sports shot. I think it's a little bit shorter and uh, hopefully we see some similar opinions that I had on the house shot. So just like I did on the house shot, I'm gonna throw three shots with the yellow pin strong. I'm gonna throw the strong ball, three shots with the yellow pin, and then three shots with the orange pin. And once again, I want you guys to let me know which one you like best, and I'll let you guys know after I'm done, which one I think looks better. A little rotating on that one. Rolled it. Ay, ay, ay. Bad chat. So for me, the tall pin orange ball look better because it's a really short pattern. So I'm now gonna hit the yellow one with surface because if I can make the yellow one slower with surface, I actually think I would prefer the yellow one. It's much easier to make a quick ball slow 
by hitting it with surface than it is to make a really slow ball, let's say like a Hammer Envy, it's really hard to make that ball quick. I can polish it and it can only do so much, whereas if I hit a melee jab with a ton of surface, I can make it a slow and early reaction ball. It's very hard to do the opposite. So if I can hit this yellow one with a little bit of surface and have it be similar to the orange one, I'd almost rather prefer that, that type of ball reaction. Not that type of reaction, that cover stack. Same, same, same. So I've hit them both with 1500, both of the yellow ones with 1500. Now I'm gonna compare them against the orange ones just to see what they do differently. Um, and again, the, the, these balls are not finished, so they can, even, they can even go back in and tweak them even further without the surface or with the finishing surface, uh, just to make it similar depending on what we see here. No surface, orange ball. Now this one's gonna be the surfaced yellow one. I did the same thing. Give me the tall layout yellow pin, 1500 on it. So now that I've hit them both with surface, it feels like I've just made the yellow one closer to the orange one, and it's not much different or much stronger, it's just made it closer to us. High pin on the short pattern, and over on the house shot, probably the lower pin, just it makes it a little quicker down lane, makes it easier to get that seven out. And you don't need so much control on the house shot where you need a lot of control out here. All right, next we have Brian, Brunswick core design engineer behind the two-handed bowling ball project. You yeah. like the orange, the it's yellow. From your shots alone and seeing the ball motion shape reactions, I liked the yellow cover on the house shot because it gave you a little more recovery and continuation off the back of the pattern. The orange one still saw it in a similar location but seemed to blend it out. But if you're looking at trying to kick corners and stay with the ball longer in transition, um, I like a ball that sucks up through the deck a little better. And for me, that was the yellow pin. Um, this one's gonna be specifically based off the core. So the tall pin, which is the further pin to COG or the short pin, what would you pick? If you had to pick one for all the patterns. One for all the patterns. Uh, for you, for control, I pick uh, the shorter pin just uh, to keep it trapped in front of you a little better. That's your A game. For players that like to send it away a little longer, I'm picking the tall pin. All right, there you, are. there you hear it. And for me, the yellow one is perfect because I can just change the surface like we, like we talked about. And the yellow one basically became the orange ball. Uh, when I hit it with 1500, it just picked up earlier and it saw what the orange ball was seeing for me, that control, that smoother shape. The versatility of the yellow ball, it's harder to make a smooth ball quick. It's very easy to make that, that yellow ball, which is a little quicker, very easy for me to make it smoother. Like I said in the very beginning, if I could pick, it would have been the quicker ball with the smoother layout. Like yellow ball, like tall pin. So after all the testing, this was the one. This was the one right here. Yellow pin, tall pin layout. It made it strong enough, smooth enough with the tall pin. And it, the yellow one was just a little quicker than the orange one and it gave me a little more versatility, not only with layout, but also with the cover stock. So this was the one.